क्वेश्चन नंबर टू यूनिवर्सिटी ऑफ मुंबई ये भी गो तो देर हैपन्स टू बी अ चॉइस वन ए इधर यू कैन गो विद दिस प्रॉब्लम ऑन प्रोजेक्शन ऑफ लाइन और वन बी नाउ द इजियर ऑप्शन इज प्रोजेक्शन ऑफ लाइन ऑब्वियसली ओके लेट मी रीड दिस वन एंड ऑफ एन एनलास्टिक स्ट्रिंग वन ट्वेंटी एम एम लॉन्ग इज अटैच टू दी सर्कम फ्रेंड्स ऑफ अ सर्क्यूलर डिस्क ऑफ फिफ्टी एम एम डायमीटर द फ्री एंड ऑफ द स्ट्रिंग इज बाउंड अराउंड द डिस्क फ्री एंड इज बाउंड अराउंड द डिस्क डिस्क इज फिफ्टी एम एम इन डायमीटर कीपिंग द स्ट्रिंग ऑलवेज टाइट ओके ड्रॉ दी लोकस ऑफ द फ्री एंड एंड नेम दी कर्व आई मीन दिस इज सिंपल प्रॉब्लम बट इट इज टाइम कंज्यूमिंग गिवन द चॉइस I'll go for projection of lines problem. Anyway, let's let's begin the construction. And uh, before that, let's read the question once again and let's extract data. One end of an inelastic string, one twenty millimeter long. That is your length of the string. Is attached to the circumference, okay, of a circular disc, fifty mm diameter. Diameter of the disc is fifty mm. Done. Free end of the string is wound around the disc, keeping the string always tight. Draw the locus of the free end. the locus of the free end will eventually transition into an involute okay whenever you solve questions or when you make drawings based on involute please remember always calculate pi d which in this case pi into 150 the value is going to work out as 157.07 please make a check use a calculator then do a comparison whether the length of string is equal to pi d whether the length of string is less than pi d whether the length of string is greater than pi d if you watch carefully in our case the length of string happens to be 120 whereas pi d has worked out as 157.07 okay whenever you do the construction use 157 only okay you cannot go for 0.07 you are a human being not a machine right your scale will let you uh, mark 157 mm accurately <laughs> not and not 0.07 Okay, so in our case, the length of string is less than the circumference. Pi d is what circumference. So uh, follow the construction steps. This is going to be fun. Here we go. If you want to take a screenshot right now, take it. This is going to be help you. This is what we need to implement. Here we go. Start by making a circular disk look like a circle. Uh, diameter is fifty, so the radius is twenty-five. That's twenty five, twenty five, twenty five, twenty five. Done. Very easy. Okay, sir. These are the four quarters. Okay, all of these quarter or each of these quarter can be divided into three more parts. So three, 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 three will make it twelve equal parts of the entire circle. Right? Please do the uh, divisions like this: one dash, two dash, three dash. There is a specific reason why this particular point has been marked as one dash. I'll come to that. Don't worry. Now what? Now draw a straight line through the bottom most point of the circle, like this, sir. What is the length of this line? The length of this line is pi d. So as I told you, take it as approximately one fifty seven. Not to worry. Done. Can you do this? Yes, sir. Now divide this line into twelve equal parts. This is going to be the line division technique which we have used quite a lot in engineering drawing. So start point. uh from here draw a line randomly of any length let's say 120 130 140 mm okay now you can keep your manual scale over here and at a regular intervals of 10 mm you can keep on marking these points i am making arcs you just mark those points okay if i start making points it won't be visible to you on the screen so uh i am going to put up arcs 10 mm radii here we go here we go 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 and 11 12 once you do the 12th mark with the help of a mini drafter connect this point and the end point of the line here we go now keep your drafter over here uh where is the red color keep your drafter the long scale over here and the short scale over here and then tighten the screw then move your drafter to this point 11th point draw a line 10th point draw a line keep on repeating the process until all the points have been exhausted now name them as 1 2 3 4 until you reach 12 done sir now comes the very important point 
what was your length of the string one end of the string has to be fixed over here sir one end of the string has to be fixed here while the other end is going to be somewhere here we don't know the exact location we do know the exact location the length of the string as far as the problem is concerned is 120 millimeters so keep your scale exactly keep your zero of your scale over here and at a distance of 120 millimeters mark a point please focus here it is okay just beyond nine just beyond nine let me show this to you once again beyond nine beyond nine beyond nine beyond nine okay lovely you want to zoom in here it is just beyond nine done sir now what uh now if you watch once you start wounding this string this red color string onto this circular disc what will happen let's say this is zero zero to one will come in contact and then the string will be like this if you go ahead zero to two will come into contact and the string will be absolutely tangential to two dash or this spoke over here if you go ahead zero to three along the periphery and then the part of the string which is left the free part will be acting like a tangent to this spoke isn't it so what you need to do is you need to make on you need to create several tangents through all of these or with respect to all of these spokes ending at 1 dash 2 dash 3 dash 4 dash and 5 dash and so on okay just like this initial position of the string is a tangent over here here also you need to make a tangent again this can be done very easily with the help of a minute after here also you need to make a tangent okay everywhere 90 degrees here also tangent 90 degrees how will you do that now keep your mini drafter over here like this and then one i mean the short scale preferably along this spoke one dash spoke then the long scale will automatically give you the tangent okay something like this and you need to repeat this process for each and every spoke let me do this in one go here it is enjoy the show now sir why haven't you made tangents from 10 and 11 or 10 dash and 11 dash the reason being very simple uh our free end p happens to be the free end of the string is going to end somewhere very close to 9 just beyond 9 so you don't have to go for 10 11 and 12 okay the free end is going to end somewhere here to be very very precise somewhere here so you don't have to make tangents through 10 dash and 11 even if you do <laughs> the evaluator does not give a damn okay because that will not help you in the construction process so now the step is very simple now once you have wound the string this much portion of the string okay this much portion of the string please the portion left the free length left is this much from 1 to p so now what you need to do is you need to keep the steel end of your compass at 1 and the pencil end of your compass at p now with this much as the radius and now with one dash as the center cut an arc and this is going to give you p1 similarly steel end of your rounder or compass at 2 and the pencil end of your compass at p now with two dash as the center cut an arc again this is going to give you p2 in the same fashion you can mark the remaining points p3 p4 p5 p6 p7 p8 and now the final point this point 9 to p is going to be extremely small if you want i can zoom in here we go extremely small and from 9 to p with 9 dash as the center you need to cut an arc this is extremely small okay that is going to give you p9 and yes now you just need to join all the points in proper sequence okay start from this point on the periphery of the circle then on this tangent through 9 9 dash and then on this p8 then p7 and once you join all of these points this is going to give you a beautiful curve popularly known as and involved and if you want to see how the construction work looks like how you need to dimension this is how it would look name the curve it's an involute and you can see the construction work it's very very light you need to keep it light <laughs> if you want to ensure that you get full marks for a drawing make sure this is the standard right i hope this has helped you understand the idea of creating an involute